<clears throat> Hi, everyone. Um, do you, any of you want to start or should I? You can start. I, can I forgot to okay. open it up on Facebook so I could see questions. <laughs> it's okay. Um, hi, everybody. Um, we're back for our weekly uh, Veg 101 live series. Uh, today, we are going to talk a little bit about some, uh, I guess, some like other vegan products. I know that we've talked a lot about food in the past. Um, so my name is Lainey. I'm the Festival and Events Coordinator. And I'm Sarah. I'm the Community and Engagement Coordinator. And I'm Barbie. I'm the donor and volunteer coordinator. And um, I'm not sure if we have it uh, in this live or not, but there might be a button. Uh, we'll probably enable it, <laughs> a button to donate if you'd like to see more um, online content like this. Uh, it's donations from people like you that help support organization and create content and um, programming uh, for the vegan community and, or I guess veg community and um, the Toronto slash GTA. Um, so I guess, sh is there like a, like, should we just like go through some of the products that we like to use or um, I don't know, just kind of yeah, go through it that way. We were talking yeah. about themes. So I guess we could do mm -hmm. like home or, or clothes or, you know, all those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So if we want to start with, uh, maybe we can start, if we want to start with clothes, um, I want to preface this with um, the fact that our, um, our Lifelines uh, graphic designer, her name is Rachel, and she actually writes a column in our, in our newsletter Lifelines um, called Veg Fashion. And so that is a great place to check in general. We now have our back issues online. Um, I believe the link is just veg.ca slash lifelines. So if you go there, you should be able to see the last like six or eight um, issues of Lifelines. And she's got a great column. So I know she's addressed this before. She's talked about some of her favorite uh, vegan brands mm -hmm. that do like vegan leather, shoes, clothing, coats, and things like that. So that's a great resource overall. And Good as point. always, if you guys have any questions, just let us know in the comments and uh, we'll try to address them while we're talking. So there's that. Mm -hmm. Um, who wants to start with clothes? I guess I could start with clothes. <laughs> um, so like basically, um, what is sort of defined as vegan clothes is anything that does not come from an animal product. So things like wool, mohair, cashmere, uh, silk, silk, all of those things, um, are definitely not vegan. Um, just because their skins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, um, false teeth made out of tusks of <laughs> elephants, like all those things. Um, yeah, animals definitely were exploited to make those things. And um, uh, I know in terms of um, farming those animals, there's still many of the same concerns that there are with factory farming and overall care of animals. So uh, you definitely want to check out the labels of your clothes and uh, when you're when you're at a store and looking to buy things and make sure that uh, it's all either synthetic fibers, cotton, linen, hemp are all really good natural fibers that don't come from animals. Um, and yeah, those Called are things to look for. Yeah, yeah. Nester as well. Um, yeah, I was going to say, and uh, like you said, like reading labels is, is a good thing to do because you should never um, assume like a lot of, um, you know, a lot of stores and companies now, obviously they either for ethical reasons or just because it's cheaper and easier um they will you know like if you see a sweater and you think oh this probably has wool in it um you know check the label because maybe it doesn't um even in regular mainstream um stores yeah especially mm -hmm. with shoes I find a lot of times I'll be looking at shoes and I'll be like oh I probably can't wear those and then I'll look and it's not actual leather yeah. so <laughs> mm -hmm. um there yeah. are labels too like the the symbol for leather looks like um sort of like a, a cow's hide and I forget what the symbol for synthetic fibers are, but I'm looking oh, at it. Right I didn't now. know that. Yeah. You know the leather one. Or, hmm. But yeah, the synthetic, I didn't even realize that there was a symbol for that. Yeah. I could just go like, get a pair of shoes and look at them. Cause yeah, most of the time or, shoes only have the, the labels, not the, not like an actual um, word because there's not as much room. Interesting. I think I've and rubbed I mine off. <laughs> <laughs> um, on the note about um, 
again, like companies doing things because they're cheaper too. That's a general sort of tip sometimes when you're looking, if you are having trouble looking, like finding vegan shoes or something like that, for example, that don't have leather. Um, leather does typically tend to be more expensive. It doesn't mean that there aren't also expensive uh, vegan options for shoes, but sometimes that can be a tip is that like, let's say you're trying to find a fancy pair of shoes, um, go to sort of more, more discount <laughs> brands. Like when Payless was, before they went bankrupt and closed, um, Payless was where I would always go if I was looking for a pair of shoes because they're just, you know, you're not gonna find a pair of $20 leather shoes most likely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah it's also so, good to or oh what were you gonna say oh, oh go ahead <laughs> <laughs> okay i was just gonna i was just gonna add that it's also good to become familiar like where those labels are get to know a little bit more about like where your clothes are coming from in general because i know that's a big topic about um like like ethical sourcing of clothing um, yeah, so which is a whole other just, issue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so that's like a whole other thing. But it's also just from that perspective, like when you are looking for more ethical clothing from a vegan standpoint, also becoming more cognizant of like other ways that maybe you can incorporate it into your life. Yeah. Um, I just posted in the chat, uh, in the comments, um, the symbols. So basically leather looks like a hide. It's like it's like a like it looks like a hide and I know sometimes it'll also be that with a cross through that means there's no leather oh, textile cool. looks like like a woven square and other materials which would be like synthetics and rubber and stuff is a diamond oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> intuitive <laughs> <laughs> right yeah so so yeah that's usually I find the symbols are used a lot on shoes again because there's no room for them to write those things but uh but yeah they're they're a good indicator to look for mm -hmm. Um, and I know it's hard to think about this as we just are getting into really hot summer days. But um, one question I feel like that comes up often is uh, where to find like winter coats that don't have down that are really warm and that are vegan. Mm -hmm. um, so um, again, like maybe you guys will be able to speak to some brands. I'm forgetting them now, but just um, after this, if anyone ha wants to look for a more comprehensive list, um, we have a post on our website um, that again, I can't remember the exact link, but if you go to veg.ca and search for uh, winter coats. We do a, a post um, that's like where to find vegan winter coats and it names um, some brands. Uh, again, like many of them are regular mainstream brands you can find at like sport check and stuff. But yeah, do you guys remember offhand what any of those are? Um, like, I know there's no. Save the Duck. That's like widely oh, available oh. at the Bay and um, um, those kinds of companies. I think Nordstrom. There's Wuxley, of course. Um, mm -hmm. There's Again, what, with what Barbie was saying, a lot of the cheaper stores will have all synthetic coats. Like my coat was an $80 Target special in Buffalo. So mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's plenty warm too, so. Yeah, I found also stores like, um, like sports stores, like Mac and Sport Check. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, when it's like a thinner coat, but it's still really warm. So it's almost like a wicking jacket mm -hmm. or something. So it's like still really hot, but it's like not made with down or any of those things. Those are also places to check out. But again, it might not be like the most stylish. Well, I guess if you're going for like a sport, like a, a mm -hmm. leisure look, but yeah, yeah. I've, I've had good luck. Sleeping bags is another one that sleeping bags oh like that you have to watch out for down yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. I I know. Know. It the coats you you cut them up cut armholes into them <laughs> just run oh my gosh yeah. <laughs> but, but sleeping bags are a good one to if you need to like replace your sleeping bag or whatever um the one that I got it's from Marmot well no not from Marmot it's made by Marmot I got it from Mac but it's so good and I know there's the whole thing with like you want to be able to like squish it down to a really small size so that you can like fit it when you're like camping and things like that but um mine's polyester and I think I can get it down to like pretty small and it's like good to like negative 15 or something nice. so yeah definitely don't discount mm. like oops that good sleeping bags um don't like good sleeping bags have to have down like there's definitely lots of good options out there yeah and another place I mean I always like to mention when you're looking for clothes is thrift stores just because mm -hmm. they're secondhand so you avoid a lot of the 
ethical issues in terms of production because you're not paying those companies for those clothes and mm -hmm. uh and you're not putting more things in the landfill either so I, I, before this coat that I got at Target, I pretty much bought all of my winter coats at Value Village. I would go through like two or three and yeah. 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 <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. There's something else I was going to, I was going to mention, I guess, um, you made me think of Lainey again with the, when you mentioned about the sports stores and the, the coats. Yeah. I have a coat mm -hmm. um, that was, that's like Roxy brand. And what oh. it is, you were talking about the, like, it keeps you warm, but it's not like a big puffy coat. Yeah. So I think it's because it's like a snowboarding jacket or something. Mm, yes. Oh. It's like, yeah. Skiing and snowboarding, right? People have to be staying warm, but not like cumbersome and not like sweating. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And again, like it was just, I just saw there and looked at the label. So just like, I'm not, I don't want to, you know, make claims. Like we don't want to say that like, oh sure. All the coats are going to be vegan, but just check the label. There's no, it's mm -hmm. like you have at least a 50, 50 chance if you just see a coat that you like in the store. Yeah. Yeah. I have a, um, a Columbia snowboarding jacket from oh, when yeah. I was like a teenager that I still <laughs> yeah. use in the and winter. Yeah. yeah. And it's super warm and completely synthetic. So yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Should we talk about shoes and, yeah. and belts and stuff? Yeah. Cause mm -hmm. those sure. are things that are often leather and um, mm -hmm. yeah, I've yeah. got, I know I've got um, a lot of synthetic rubber shoes basically um I have I I have my eyes on a pair of vegan Doc Martens but uh I'm oh, afraid same. <laughs> I'm like, Wait, I, don't, I don't know like, if I should commit no yeah you can get uh, Doc Martens oh. makes a, a quite a few of their boots vegan now so they have like the regular boot and then they have the vegan boot so yes you're supporting a company that also makes leather shoes but on the other hand if you buy the non, like if you buy the vegan ones, then you're, you're telling them that there's the market for the, the vegan shoes. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have fake ones. I brought as an example. <sighs> These Very are my nice. winter boots basically, but again, I just saw them in H and M and yeah, mm -hmm. it's all like rubbed off now, but um, it was just like synthetic fabrics and stuff. So yeah. that was very happy, but yeah, I'm like looking at, Doc Martens because again like the last so long and like yeah oh. see my problem is I have like a 15 year old pair of leather Doc Martens that I have still not broken in because <laughs> they are still so blistery every time I wear them and it's like do I really want to spend $200 on another pair of shoes that I'm just not gonna wear so yeah <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> fun times yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. Barbie, I know that you had a list going there of like vegan fashion brands, right? Yeah. So um, again, for, for shoes um, specifically, so Call It Spring is um, a shoe store that has been in regular malls for a while. And I think it was like two years ago, they, or a year ago, they went completely vegan. So if you know the store Call It Spring, I know there's one in Yorkdale. Um, there's also one at the Toronto Premium Outlet Mall. Um, I'm not sure how widespread they are, but yeah. They're, they're pretty much in every mall. Oh, they're really? like yeah. in every, cool. what, whenever malls open up again, but yeah, yeah they're, they're in pretty much every mall. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, so um, that's a great option for shoes, especially because I feel like, yeah, like we can kind of think about like boots and all these different things, but they're like one of the few places I could think of that you can like walk into in a mall and really easily find like, again, like fancy shoes, like if you need shoes for a wedding or something like that. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah. And also belts and purses too, because oh, yeah. they sell belts and purses and those can be hard to find without animal products. Um, oftentimes, even if it's like a canvas bag or something, it'll have a leather strap. So, yeah. And that reminds me um, also in the Toronto Premium Outlet Mall, there's also a Mad in That store. So um, many of you mm -hmm. may know, cause they're one of the most well-known vegan brands. So Mad in That, um, they make, yeah, purses, bags, belts. Um, as far as I know, pretty, I don't, I've never gotten one myself, but they're pretty high quality. I think they've got a pretty good reputation. Um, and again, if you're looking for more affordable ones, they do have a full store at the Toronto Premium Outlet Mall, which is um, off the 401 here. I've also seen, um, I've also seen their stuff weirdly in chapters, like chapters in oh, yeah. I've seen, they have, um, they had like Matt and Matt, and then they also had some other like bags and purses that were vegan which hmm. yeah again was browsing yeah. and was a, yeah so 
I also, guess um, if you have like a larger one, then they'll probably be in there. Um, Herschel, Herschel's shoe company as oh, well. Cool. So they make backpacks mm-hmm. and shoes and wallets and everything. And they're, mm-hmm. I discounted them for so long because I thought that they were leather, but they're not. They're all vegan. They don't use animal products at all. Oh, cool. So yeah. Neat. Mm-hmm. I know, is that um is that like again like a is that like an ethical like decision like are they like, I think it is or? an ethical decision oh, I just did a quick google but uh but yeah so they talk about best cruelty free vegan brands so maybe I don't mm. know yeah speaking of google I just realized should we do a quick check if there are any questions there are mm. not I've been I've oh, been monitoring okay. yeah <laughs> <laughs> um do you yeah. want to have, oh go ahead are you gonna no. ask something Oh, I was just going to say, do we want to move into like body care products then? Sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, one other yeah. thing. I remember um, seeing that Adidas was releasing like a vegan shoe. Oh, I hmm. can't remember which one. But yeah, maybe like that's another thing. It's mm-hmm. good one. Like, well, like, again, companies that make other products that may not necessarily be vegan. But again, if they do buying those products, to let them know, like Sarah said that those are the ones that like people want so they can make more of them. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah. yeah, like cosmetics mm-hmm. and body care and all that stuff. Does someone, mm-hmm. does someone know the like regulations or cruelty free like definitions or any of those things? I know there is, so there's like the cruelty free label mm-hmm. for like show it. Is it show oh, the yeah, yeah. 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 So that one and then it says vegan underneath too, but uh, that um, I think is more common that you'll see on cosmetics and stuff um, because uh, oh, then it also yeah. incorporates. Can you see that? A little yeah, bunny. That's another one. <clears throat> yeah, that'll like encompass uh, animal. Well, no, I don't want to say that it like has animal testing. It says no animal testing. So <laughs> I think that's a lot more like relevant for cosmetic and like body care products um and I did I actually just like again one night when I was just googling things like if there's a difference between like vegan cosmetic products and um like cruelty free products um that was kind of the only main difference that I could see it was just like cruelty free oh my gosh cruelty free um basically it like has regulations for against animal testing and then vegan is more like food directed so but um, also I guess- um sorry to interrupt if it's yeah. pretty free it might still have honey or lanolin yeah, or those exactly. yeah and same and like while something well like to like to us it makes sense that like oh if it's vegan it's not animal tested some companies they might label something as vegan but it may still be tested on animals. Like a good example of that is Benefit Cosmetics. Um, so they, like if you go on Sephora, it will say like, oh, yep, it's mm-hmm. vegan, but they still do test on animals. So yeah, to just do your research and double check. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. that's, that's mm-hmm. always kind of the best thing to like make triple sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I- I know I use a lot of products from the body shop because they've been, yeah, they've been cruelty free for a long time, but um, only recently, I think they've highlighted their vegan options more. So I think almost everything in the shop is vegan now, in addition to being cruelty free, they did use like historically have used a lot of butter and um, not butter. <laughs> I was like, that was and then I was like, wait a second, what? <laughs> Honey, honey was the word I was going for and probably like some lanolin and stuff, but, uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I just noticed the other day um, on their website, so you can even like, if you are ordering online, um, you can do um, like a vegan filter. So I guess they must still have a couple products, like a few products that aren't vegan, but it's very easy, like, yeah. Uh, when you're mm-hmm. shopping and in the store, they know everything. And they also not only do they have vegan products and they don't test on animals, they actually have done some pretty cool, like, activist work so like last I think it was last summer they had like a petition going that they started about it must have been about cruelty like cruel like a, some legislation about mm-hmm. free or test animal testing in Canada or something and they were really spearheading that and they had like people outside their stores like with petitions getting people to sign them so yeah I, I remember like, signing one of those yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, cool. It's, it's cool to see like a big company like that yeah uh, do that mm-hmm. 
They also have mm -hmm. um, like an actual thing in their store that the um, employees have access to that says if everything is vegan, because I know like oh, I was cool. looking at eyeliners and mascara recently. And yeah, she went actually went through the list with me and made sure that like everything I was looking at was vegan. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's really good. I know, again, like in the same area, like Lush is another one where like, oh, of course, it's all like animal testing free. But again, like not all of it is vegan. So just to double check which products are, but also like it's pretty clearly labeled and yeah. I'm pretty sure like the ingredients are on all of the like labels in the store, but okay. they should have, I think they have like a binder. I'm trying to remember. I think there's a binder that you can like pick up <laughs> with references. I know on the POS and stuff, but yeah, same thing where like all the ingredients are really easy. Um, yeah. If you want to like double check. And I know mm -hmm. um, The Ordinary is another like yeah. business that's very transparent about their animal testing mm -hmm. and also their um, what's vegan and what isn't. Again, not everything is vegan, but I'm pretty sure like 80% of it is. And uh, and yeah, so that's that's a really good one too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so uh, Peter was talking about New Balance shoes have vegan options and Jenny was mm -hmm. um, asking about nice shoes and we did have not mentioned nice shoes, oh, yeah. but... Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, like, and also, like, if we're talking about cosmetics, we should give a shout out to, like, the smaller businesses, right, that frequent our, mm -hmm. our markets and things that are all vegan and cruelty-free, and but also local and supporting the local vegan community. Like, there's Sensatorium, there's Bartholomew Sisters, there's... Um, mm -hmm. um, Sade Baron. That's the one I was trying to think of. I have some yeah. of their stuff in my, <laughs> in my room. I was like, shoot, what's the label say? <laughs> And truth yeah. belts when we were talking about clothes truth yeah. belts is a great mm -hmm. uh great one as well and again like high quality i've had some of their belts for a really long time and they've lasted really long and time. they look cool too yeah <laughs> i've got one with cacti on it <laughs> Ooh. yeah yeah and I mean there is like you know it's it's really hard to avoid the big brands for some things um but but yeah, there is, there's definitely a lot of nice local things that you can have for pretty much all of the, the beauty products that you want to use. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. On that too, like if you are looking for um, products that you can just sort of like find everywhere um, easily and a little, a little bit more cheaply. Um, I know Lainey and I were both uh, fans of Live Clean. So this is yeah. um, uh -huh. new shampoo, conditioner um I feel like they also do things like body wash oh yeah and other things um yeah, and yeah I think they have hair treatments too what oh hair treatments cool, cool. yeah, yeah. And, uh, again I like that they like they're in shoppers drug mart and things like that so you can get them and what's funny about so normal mm -hmm. I feel like normally it's like it, again if you compare it to like other products um that are in shoppers, like it still would seem a little like more expensive. Like it's a lot of, it's a smaller bottle than a lot of other products. But I feel like at least 50% of the time I go into shoppers, they've got a giant, like it's like 50% off. Like, and I just- That's what I was gonna say. It's like almost always these ones I got, it was $3 for each of these. And I was like, okay. Cause that's when I'll kind of stock up whenever I see them on sale because it's, I don't know, granted like, every couple of weeks because originally yeah. I think it's like $8.99 or something which yeah it's like yeah. pricey if you're getting a smaller bottle and you have like really long hair a lot but of hair. yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, but hey, I, Sarah it's not so bad <laughs> I use baking soda and vinegar to, to wash my hair there's literally no hair it's not a big deal <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. the body shops the same way like when they have their like buy three get three free yeah promotion that's when I'll go and like stock up on face wash and body wash and all those yeah. things so mm -hmm. they last a yeah. long time you can put them under your sink until you need a new bottle yeah. so yeah <laughs> they're not gonna go bad well maybe I guess eventually technically they do <laughs> which I did actually in saying that I don't know so this symbol here where it says 24 oh, yeah. um and the opening thing that means that it's good for 24 months after you open it which I learned oh. recently and was just oh. like, so all cosmetics will have that. Like this one's like nine months after opening. Yeah. And, yeah. and again, yeah. they'll still work after that. They just not yeah. might not be the optimum like formula mm -hmm. or whatever. 
Yeah. yeah. I, I tried to dye my hair pink with year and a half old pink hair dye the other day and we see how well that worked. So. <laughs> oh, vegan hair dye. Yes. That's a good. Actually, you know what? I, I do use... have some with me. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I use this stuff called Ion, Ion Beauty, Ion Color. I think you get it at Sally Beauty and um, I've, I've, it seems like they are cruelty free and vegan. Um, it's like a, obviously it's the super bright colors. So my mom uses that hair dye oh, yeah? too. Yeah, but she it's like blonde. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and manic panic. Oh, that's yeah. like a classic. This is yeah. my green. I just haven't used it yet, but <laughs> yeah. Used it yet. But you were green last. Was it a different green? Uh, or it's like the same color. This is just a new jar because it takes oh. a whole jar to do my head but <laughs> I just I was like oh yeah maybe later also but, nail polish mm-hmm. nail polish is another thing that is very often mm-hmm. not vegan especially the um shellac, the shellac ones right? yeah yeah uh, it's mm-hmm. bugs or something I think bugs, yeah bug bugs shells that they use yeah mm-hmm. so be careful about that mm-hmm. and yeah mm-hmm. how do you gel vegan nail polish like again do they have ingredients listed do you just do you have like any favorite brands that you use I don't know offhand what brand my nail polish is, but I know like, again, at Sally Beauty, they have like um, the vegan ones and the non-vegan ones and they'll be able to okay. tell you if you ask. So okay. yeah. And I know if you like want to be fancy and like get like gel or something like that, um, bio gel, uh, what is it? Seaweed bio gel that yeah, have any <laughs> shellac in it. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I guess other other things. I also have sunscreen here because I know that's mm. like the one yeah. that's kind of weird. I have two. This one, again, I got this one just from shoppers. I think that you can find it like in most places. Um, but it isn't that great for your face. And I, I went. I don't know. I can be like kind of particular about like what, like face. Yeah. like skincare stuff I'm like no so um I actually got this from the states when mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. that all of their stuff is vegan they have most of their like most of their products you can get in Sephora um they have a lot of really great skincare stuff but um sunscreen because I think it is sunscreen is regulated by the FDA so or like the like whatever like it's like kind of categorized like it's a drug like, instead of a cosmetic yeah so yeah like so in Canada like, so like, there's, like a, animals I don't like yeah. I don't remember quite because like this like this is cruelty free and everything mm-hmm. but like it doesn't make sense because like I don't know I'm like then why can't like we have like this in Canada yeah. like I just want this sunscreen in Canada but um yeah, I know it has something to do with like the category that it's in that either maybe it takes longer if they do want to sell it in Canada or there's like other regulations yeah. that they have to abide by. I'm not quite sure. But like yeah. um, in general, um, what is it? Zinc? Zinc oxide. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Zinc oxide sunscreens. Those ones are usually safe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because there's like the <laughs> mineral and the chemical sunscreens, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. so I like the chemical ones (laughs) because I find the mineral ones (laughs) leave a white film but yeah I love sun sun gum and um yeah this um I feel like I originally I used to only see it a few places I feel like you can get it at like a bunch of bike shops like Sweet Pete's bike shop sells them um they also sell it at Bed Bath and Beyond um and now I'm seeing it like yeah well actually I think Shopper sells it now I'm pretty sure I've seen it at Shopper's I was gonna say yeah yeah all right so moot point it's just a regular sunscreen (laughs) but that's the point is that it's a regular sunscreen that now you can get at a lot of places um yeah and it comes I like it comes in like the different things as well and 30 and 50 and everything and it says vegan right on it on the back um mm-hmm. yeah it's interesting now that you mm-hmm. mentioned that Lainey about the the testing and things yeah so this one it doesn't explicitly say on this one at least it doesn't explicitly say anything about whether or not it's tested on animals it doesn't have like a lead yeah. on anything so again if mm. you're concerned about that I don't want to um you know falsely label anything but it, it does say vegan so you can look into that and they make other products yeah. as well um 
they make um, lip balms and they make a bunch of baby products. If you, um, you have mm -hmm. a baby, I don't know what's that called. Yeah. Or you like using baby that products because I always yeah. buy like baby sunscreen and <laughs> <laughs> just because you like yeah. it better. Yeah. yeah, it's probably going to work yeah. much better because it's like made oh, to protect babies. I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, all the talk about sunscreen, though, made me think about another thing people often don't think about, and that is tattoo ink. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like mostly now, all shops use tattoo ink by default. Uh, sorry, tattoo ink. Of course, it's tattoo <laughs> ink. <laughs> so, it's uh, like most of them We're are vegan by pen. default. Yeah the the like outliers might be the red colors um they might be um have animal derived products in it but every shop i've gone to in toronto has told me that they don't use um they always use vegan inks now i haven't gone to every shop in toronto but like i commonly go to archive and i commonly go to i love mom and i know like those two in particular are really good about vegan tattoos and things like that so yeah well, that's another place with you know, that kind of one of those um like persistent myths, sort of like the sugar we were talking about. Like yeah, exactly. It's hard to get, but it's really yeah. it's taboo. Like it's mm -hmm. unlike it, yeah, it was probably like yeah. 20 years ago it was hard to get, but in, in addition to not being vegan, um, what the artists have told me was it also reacted badly with people's skin when it was injected mm -hmm. into their skin, right? So <laughs> it's it's not commonly used anymore. So huh. um, someone was just asking, they missed the brand name of your sunscreen Barbie. And I think it was oh. Sunbeam. <laughs> Sunbeam? Sun uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So cute. Talking of red things too, this is also another thing that I brought. Um, it's this Tarte blush. So pretty. Oh. This is honestly, I love this blush so much because it looks so pretty, but it's also vegan. And you can't find, like, no. A lot of blushes and like anything with red pigments like lipsticks and stuff like that a lot of the times you just have to double check and see like where that red pigment is coming from so like eyeshadows that's another one and now it's a lot more common actually that like they explicitly will say that they are vegan um so blush was one thing that i like weirdly enough um i just i couldn't fine what well maybe I was just being picky about the color actually let's be realistic <laughs> um but this whole line that Tarte does the Amazonian line I think it is it's completely vegan so I know that all makeup companies have like their I don't know their pros and cons um but it is good to see like some of them I guess like investing in creating products that are um more ethical than others and again like shoppers drug mart and stuff like that there are drugstore brands um that also do have vegan products that might not explicitly say that they are so again just checking on google or i think that they're like they'd have the ingredients on them they should but yeah but sometimes you know there's like those ingredients that could be animal derived or are like yeah. uh, derived from somewhere else and it doesn't always specify yeah. which which it comes from that's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's bad. Like they'll probably say like, I guess the best kind of way, or at least that I do is if, if it isn't like explicitly set, said or like stated for like makeup and stuff like that, then I'll usually steer clear of it because with food and things like that, it's a lot easier. Um, I, like, I think that like, like food products and stuff, they're like more transparent because you're like actually like consuming it. But mm -hmm. again, yeah, with ingredients, you're not always, hundred percent sure of this source so mm -hmm. yeah the company's being transparent that's a good thing <laughs> yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah Pill, like supplements and stuff this is like a hard turn I just was thinking of another <laughs> thing like supplements and like vitamins and stuff like that um that's another thing that um kind of came to mind when I was like thinking of products that are good to consider or like even when you're looking at them um, there are lots of options mm -hmm. just because like if they have the like gel capsule, a lot of the times, if you just like look at some of the other brands, they'll like have the like non gel capsules. I really mm -hmm. like this nature's bounty. <laughs> They're really good. That's a good yeah. one. Like sort of across the board, right? Like, so like, let's say when you're mm -hmm. buying Advil, they'll usually have both gel and, and yeah. regular. So it's just like um, the hard ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. gel will often be um, gelatin. Yeah, gelatin. Yeah. So I get, and like you said, I feel like most like 
it's different probably like if you're getting like a pre important prescription or something from yeah, your doctor. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, exactly. But yeah. the basics, like usually they will have both options. So if you can get the other option, that's a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Same with those like daily gummies and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. that mostly they're like gelatin free most of the time. Does anyone yeah. know if Flintstone vitamins are vegan? <laughs> I haven't looked in a while. I do not I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's like the Herbaland ones that I see advertised a lot on vegan websites that are like um they have gummies and they have like the same like Flintstone-y yeah yeah <laughs> are Flintstone vitamins for dogs that was one of the ones that came <laughs> do we have any final questions before we no no more questions yeah uh, yeah. Do we want to tell people a little bit before we leave about some exciting announcements we'll have next week? A little teaser? They need yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, no, I was like looking back to Flintstones. <laughs> looking up about Flintstones. It said that they, the article I was like skimming through, it said like beneficial to vegetarians. So I was like, what does that mean that they are? <laughs> so anyway, all right. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, coming up in June, we have some really exciting events planned, um, and we really hope to see you guys there. So, um, starting off, we're going to be hosting Vegan Rock, but online. So that is going to be happening, um, the week before the 19th, June 12th. 12th. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was like. <laughs> Uh, and then um, on the 19th, we're going to be hosting um, a gala in celebration of TVA's 75th anniversary. So that'll be really exciting. Um, more information will be shared as well on all of our social media accounts about those. Um, and then finally, we'll also be hosting a uh, silent auction that will be going live on Facebook. So that will be the platform where people can um, bid for some really, really cool prizes they're like they're really good so yeah <laughs> definitely I've just been like making notes whatever yeah, you guys yeah. have like <laughs> mentioned what's been recruited so that'll be super exciting um and uh if you'd like to be a part of our 75th uh anniversary gala in like a media way and stuff uh we are accepting short little happy birthday clips from people so you can send a little short video that you've taken on your phone um in landscape mode um to the email toronto fedge video at gmail.com so it. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. and if um those can be sent in by uh the monday before the 19th so the 15th yeah yeah and if you have any questions as well you can also uh just leave them below um or reach out to our general email yeah. just info yeah. at bench.ca wow i was like mind blank but yeah those are exciting yeah. things to look forward to it's gonna be fun Mm -hmm. And let us know, uh, like Lainey said, at that email as well, info veg.day, if you have any suggested topics or questions that you have for future Veg 101 sessions. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Thanks All right. for joining us, everybody. Yes. Happy Friday. Yay. Bye. Bye. Bye.